This uh, video, I put this video together in response to a question raised by one of our subscribers, uh, Gassan. And Gassan asks the question or notes that um, in, Archie, in, in the videos Archie's Equation and Archie's Equation Part 2, this relationship is used. And in Archie's Equation Part 3, we have this relationship. That's a very good uh, observation, very good uh, uh, point to raise. Um, his question was formulated a little bit differently, but this is, ba this is the basic idea here. And uh, I've harped in the past, you know, always kind of pay attention to the notation and one text, you know, different symbolic representations may be used than in another paper or text. But here we have a difference in the basic definition of um, the relationship uh, defining the formation factor. Now the formation factor, uh, this relationship here is found in the text by Robinson and Carew, 1988 Basic Exploration Geophysics. And this is the one I used in the first two videos. Now the main reason for doing this, you know, I wasn't thinking really so much in terms of well -log analysis and but thinking more so in terms of basic uh, equation manipulation and developing basic equation manipulation skills and transforming uh, power power law relationships into um, uh, logarithmic relationships, uh, uh, taking logarithmic uh, transform of phi, for example. When we do that, we well, first of all, we uh, obtain this relationship. We wanted to express. Our independent variable, the independent variable, and these plots actually come from Archie's paper. The independent variable here is uh, is f. So that was another thing that we wanted to do was transform this equation into an equation where we had f varying as a function of porosity. Uh, Robinson and Carew give us an equation where we have porosity varying as a function of formation factor. So we wanted to go through this transformation here. We also wanted to take the log. Uh, transform of this relationship here for f uh, to show that indeed we do get this uh, linear relationship between f and porosity, the log of f and the log of porosity. And when we did that we get a negative slope here. In this case it was a negative minus, uh, minus 1 over m. <clears throat> so and that, that was more or less what we were after in the videos Archie's uh, equation and Archie's equation part two. So we wanted to to, to basically emphasize uh, that we can take a log transform, come up with a, um, a linear relationship, and and um, um, so that's that's kind of the outgrowth of those uh, first first two videos, and we saw in this case that we came up with this slope minus one over m. Now here we have um, something which you don't often run into, which is different definitions of basic relationships in different texts. So this um, is a this relationship down here is taken from Asquith and Krigowski, 2004. It's their basic well log analysis class, and uh, the formation factor is defined as a over phi to the m power. And of course this is um, you know, different than a over f to the m power, a over phi to the m. So we have these two different relationships here that are being used to define uh, the formation factor. Now, you know, just note that we can take the log transform of this relationship. Um, here we get the log of f. This is our dependent variable here. The log of f is equal to the log of a. This would be the intercept minus m times the log of phi. So we do have a negative slope, just just as we do in this, you know, in these uh, in these plots presented to us by uh, by Archie in his uh, in his paper. So we get once again we get a negative slope. I also wanted to kind of draw your attention to this uh, tortuosity factor here. This is the factor a in this equation, and you can see that it takes on values between about 0.62 uh, and. 2.45 or so. We have one for carbonates. We have 1.45 for average sands. 1.45 for calcareous sands. Um, I kind of point these two out. I'll come back to this in a 
in a minute. Uh, but, this, you know, this is just a good general table, and I don't think we talked about that in the, uh, in, in the videos on Archie's equation. So <clears throat> Archie's 1942 paper doesn't even have the constant A. So we might assume in this particular case that he assumes that the intercept is equal to 1. Now, the intercept would be the value of the log of f when log of phi is equal to um, equal to equal to zero. In other words, what, you know, at x equal zero, uh, what is the value of log of f? Or, in other words, at phi equal one or one hundred percent porosity, log of one is equal to zero. So our intercept would be on this uh, log of f uh, axis. A would be the uh, intercept of this uh, straight line. Now. If we take a look at the intercept, it implies that A may be a little bit greater than 1. I can see where, you know, I've kind of made it look this way. You could probably move this line down a little bit. So we can easily see where Archie may have come to the conclusion that A would just be equal to uh, equal to 1. Now this 1.45, his relationship is, is developed for these uh, sands in Louisiana. And uh, we found that calcareous sands and, and uh, other sands had an A value of about 1.45. So that may be about where we are here. Uh, and this just comes from the table that we, that, we just, uh, that we just looked at up here. Average sands, calcareous sands. So that's a little bit of background. Uh, but this is the basic relationship for Archie's equation, and you can see, excuse me for kind of rolling through the through the slides here, but you can you can see where f is equal to phi to the minus m uh, with a equal to one. And that that's a difference than what Robinson and Carew presents us because we come up with this relationship here. So okay. Rolling back down here. So um we we have this basic equation. We've gone back to the original paper. We have to conclude that um, the relationship that we should be using is this one. And uh, an important point to make and, and emphasize, I think, in, in in all this, the point that Gassan raises is that you know not only are you going to see as you look from text to text or paper to paper, you're going to see differences in basic notation the symbolic representation of different uh, parameters. But uh, sometimes you may see actual differences in the basic definition. So we went back to the original paper, Archie 1942, and I think we would all conclude that we have to adopt the general definition of Asquith and Krigowski or Archie 1942 that F is equal to uh, phi to the minus m or A times phi to the minus m, or a over phi to the m. So great question, Gassan, and uh, sorry for the confusion. I hope this not only straightens, straightens things out, but um, the kinds of eyes that uh, Gassan brings to this, I think we should all bring to uh, different, uh, different texts and papers, not only symbolic notation, but uh, basic definitions. Uh, sometimes they may be misrepresented. So thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, keep watching those videos.